Take a look at this first one right here. So the absolute value of 2x minus 3 is greater than or equal to negative 8. Whatever's inside of this, these two absolute value bars, it'll always make it positive. So if you're taking the absolute value of a negative quantity, it'll be positive. If you take the absolute value of a positive quantity, it'll be positive. The smallest this whole quantity can be after you take the absolute value is going to be zero. That's the smallest that it can be, right? So whatever happens here, once you take the absolute value, it's going to be zero or greater, which means it'll automatically be greater than or equal to any negative number. So the answer to this problem without having to do any calculations is that it's going to be all real numbers. Or if you want to use the interval notation, negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay, whereas this one here, see the absolute value of 5x plus 7 is less than or equal to negative 2. Once we take the absolute value of whatever's in here, it's always going to be 0 or positive. So that means it's, it's never going to be less than or equal to negative 2. It's always going to be greater than that. So this one actually, there's no solution. You could say empty set, or if you want to use the set brackets, you know, nothing inside here, empty set, or however you want to write it, no solution, right? No solution. So before you dive into these, if you see a negative number on the right side of the inequality, take a look and, and, and analyze it to see if it's no solution or if it's all real numbers. Now the third case here that sometimes comes up is at first you look at this and you say, hmm, this isn't negative, you know, and my uh, teacher and tutor told me to watch out for those negative ones, right? But what you want to do before you get into solving these absolute value uh, problems is you want to get the absolute value by itself. So if you divide both sides by negative 3, right? This is going to give you negative 2, and when you multiply or divide both sides by a negative number, what happens to that inequality sign? It changes direction, right? So now we're left with 15x minus 2, the absolute value, is less than or equal to negative 2. And now we're back to what we were dealing with in this case here. Whatever is here is going to be 0 or greater. It can never be less than or equal to negative 2, so there's actually no solution to this problem.